This is Live and Direct, Real Frequency Style Man, cooling out backstage at the Rock the Bells tour right now with none other than the legendary Q-Tip. What's the deal, my man? What's up? What's up? What's good? So we're going to play a little game. You know what I'm saying? We're going to play a little game. You know what I mean? And the, the name of the game is, I'm going to give you a name of a track. Right. And you give me a, a, a story, uh, either a studio-related story, a performance, whatever, a memory associated with this particular song. Okay. And uh, we'll go all through the catalog, all right? So let's kick it off, let's kick it off. I, lo I love this, this is just on the fly right now, real freak style. Let's go. We're Q-tip, all right. So first song I'm gonna give you, Lock of Blue Sienna, People's Instinct for Travels and the Passive Living. Brother, 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 Lucien, you're like no other. Listen very close, cause I don't know. Well, Lucien is, is, is the actual brother of, uh, that we, we know and love. We've known him for a long time. He's from Paris. Um, and uh, he was just, you know, I think the story that I laid out was just to show that, you know, he was just, just like the rest of us. You know, so no matter where you're from, you're 18 years old, you're looking for this identity. You know what I'm saying? And he's definitely one of his brothers. He was definitely a hood, definitely a thug, you know what I'm saying? He used to, he used to ill out. That well, was our man, he used to roll with us back in the day. So, shout out to Lucy and if you've seen it, around, what up? Now. Microphone check, one, two, what is this? The five foot assassin with the rough neck business. I float like gravity, never had a cavity. Got more rhymes than the one that's got family. No need to... Bugging out, is just, it reminds me of uh, just being in Battery Studios. And, you know, the track is just crazy to me. And the way it set, sets off, how fight just comes in on it, it's just crazy. I, there's no real story behind it except that when we were doing a lot of that album, I know that I that I was just like floating and we were, we, were, we were in a group, you know what I'm saying? Like we were really, the exchange that we had going on was crazy was doing that. And that record probably is, some, is the most, out of that album, or including Check the Rhyme Scenario, that's probably the synonymous record for the only theory. That's right. Brand new truck. But a sore seat, four point something with a low ride something. Ain't nothing better than a ride out the hood with it. Who looking better and damn you looking good. Shout out Jay Dilla. That's probably one of my favorite beats that, that he did. He called me because we worked on an album. He's like, yo, I got some He played it over the phone. I was like, yo, I can't really, I can't really hear it. Like, I need to hear I like I heard it. He's like, yo. Just send it, whatever. So he sent it, and I was like, oh shit, this shit is freaking in. So I had to like back off him for a while. Then, um, you know, the bait, you know, I was messing around with the bass on him, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to link it up. And I don't know, just, we have just the ill chemistry. Get a hold. The deadly venom, let me start from the beginning. We always hitting, so yo, there'll be no extra in this. Get a hold, another JD banger. Um, you know, that that's like beats rhymes and life era. So, you know, we was definitely going to transition. I know I just def I, I just converted to this song hey, right before that. So that's all my yeah. Keep it rolling. What's up kids? The Abby speaker from the moon. Thanks for your support. Hey yo, I'll be home soon. Keep it rolling, you know, large professor. Um, you know, he's just one of the hip hop, you know, enigmas that just giants and kind of ubiquitous as well. Just being all over, and um, I think the thing that stands out is is Fife's verse when he says, "Escape when you love Mario and how they stuff over." Yeah. And then at the end, when the Josh Professor says, "Queens represent by the album," and I dropped it, and how he had the large, he's the soul of the album. I mean, it was just points, rhyme points. Hard and moving butts. Devoted to the arts of moving butts, the rhythms happening. I was doing a lot of pause tapes on that album, like a lot of that album just pause tapes for a lot of y'all to know, like a pause tape would be like you catch a beat on a cassette and you pause it and you, like you, you have to bait the beat, you record it then press pause and you wind the other side, start it again, press record and pause, but, you know, so I would loop that, I would stay up for hours for all these tapes 
Then I had a recorder that I could overdub. So I actually did that on an overdub and on like one cassette. <laughs> and I brought it to my man Tower Tay from Delight. Because I was fucking with him at the time. I'd go by his crib anywhere I could go to Lake Beach because I was still at my mom's crib in Queens. So I, That's I, I, crazy, I had, man. So I went by his crib. That's why he's on me. Tower Tay. And he's talking to Japanese. Vibes and stuff. Let me flaunt the style. I think that the times near that we drop stuff. That's a banger, right? <laughs> That's just a banger. I love that shit. I love that shit. You guys think you guys perform that? I'm telling you. That's quite for me, by the way. Um, come on, fight. Come see it. Join me. Yeah, man. Fight. Hop in. <laughs> Wife in the house too, man. Wife in the house too. We can't talk about the under contractual things that we can't really discuss. Alright, alright. Tribe is over. Like, really? Like, they lost all the dead tribes. Okay. You guys, do you want to, you want to, you know, speak on that or no? That's, oh, you're not allowed to talk about it. Let's shift gears for a minute because I definitely want to talk about the upcoming album. Tell everybody what it's called. Um, it's called The Renaissance. You know, I'm really excited about it on Universal one time. Um, and I have D'Angelo on there, Nola Jones, you know what I'm saying? I got a joint out right now called Get Up. Uh, sent you a message, sent you an email. Hasty decisions we may still prepare. A lot of great reaction from that, so I'm just excited about it. What do you think, like, as far as, do you, do you think that you have to go and reinvent your sound with this record? like? Did you try to look for a new sound, or was it something that you just you kind of just? Yeah, I always try to I always try to look for new sounds and doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? So um, it was a little bit of a new invention as a way to do it. As a way to do it. How would you How would you sonically describe your your approach? Just big beats, just big beat. I'm just on the big beat. I just want to draw this big. That's my That's my thing. So, because that's a big thing for production period, hip hop production period, the drum and the sound of the drum. And Tribe is known for that. I mean, so is it still on a on a on a breakbeat level where the drum is coming from, or is it like experimenting with live sounds, with with, with electronic sounds? Like when you say the drum and a, and a big drum, has your approach to finding that big drum sound changed? Whenever I can go to get the big beat, like Dan said, looking for the perfect beat, whenever I can get it, because when I break it, I have to chop it. Play it, make it sound a certain way, like whatever. I'm feeding for it. You heard it straight from the man Q-Tip live and direct. Thank you so much for joining us, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you for making the time, man. Shouts to my man Fife, musically insane. Go get the album. Or I'm gonna punch you in your face. <laughs> the Renaissance. Stop playing. We got the hitting up. We got the hitting up. Today is nice. Come on, let's get it.